Hello and welcome to the last in our little series of uh, Unity tutorials uh, and looking at our Pong game. Um, so, so far we have got you used to kind of downloading Unity and uh, make sure you've got uh, a sense of the different areas that we're going to work in. Uh, we've looked at how we uh, put together our play area uh, and then we've added our first bit of C Sharp scripting uh, with our paddles. And then uh, in the last tutorial we went through and looked at how we can change the effects of the ball and uh, add the bounciness to our ball uh, and really kind of make our game that bit more playable uh, as we go through. So the last bit that I wanted to cover was how we can uh, add a little bit of um, uh, logic and uh, challenge to our, our game with um, adding the score in and looking at how we can divert a tiny bit of UI um, uh, into our game. All right, so that's where we are for this tutorial. So that's where you should be uh, with your game. So hopefully it's looking uh, very similar to that. Uh, and what we want to do first is we want to make sure, uh, let's just make sure that if you haven't uh, labeled up your walls, um, uh, left wall and right wall, then now is the time to go back and do so. Okay, doesn't matter too much about the top, we're not going to reference those in the script, but we're going to reference the left wall and the right wall. They're going to be our score uh, holders. So basically, if the ball hits this wall, uh, then we're going to add a score to the opponent's side. All right, so if uh, kind of red here uh, sent the ball flying this way and it hits the left wall, we're going to add a point to red score and vice versa for blue. All right, so just make sure that you've labeled up left wall and right wall uh, for the appropriate ones. OK, um, just take a note of capitals where I've got mine. I'll match mine to what I've got. As long as you've got it matching in exactly the same way in your script, then you'll be fine. Um, so let's open up our ball. So this is what we were working on before. And we're going to go right to the top initially. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in some holders uh, for our um, score. So we're going to add in uh, a public integer for uh, our blue score and then we're going to do likewise oh, for our red score I don't know right yes I have okay all right and then what we need to do is we are going to scroll to the bottom of our script and uh, we'll do this underneath everything else uh, and we are going to make sure I get in the right bit there we go after here uh, and then we're going to add in uh, another check so we're going to basically what should we call this check if wall is hit and then update score so first things first we need to uh, have an if statement and if we've got uh, our Uh, goal dot oh I think I need to keep it in here sorry I put it in the wrong place apologies that's my fault uh, make sure please that you keep it within your uh, uh, collision uh, function otherwise it won't work properly uh, which is why mine wasn't working properly because I hadn't noticed where I was all right so uh, if we collide with game object all fingers and thumbs today I'm not spelling things quite and the name of that is equal to all right so this is where it's important that you get your walls around the right way so uh, is left wall uh, then what we're going to do with uh, we're going to add to the red score so this is just something to make a note of and a plus to our red score all right, and that'll add one to our red score so my left wall is the wall that's behind my blue paddle so if the ball hits that wall it's going to add a score to the red team okay you may have yours on a slightly different way around you may have used different colors whatever okay uh, if you've used the same assets that i've shared with you in the description then you should be fine but just in case that's the logic behind it okay so the left wall is the one that's behind the blue paddle so it would add to the red score okay uh we're going to need to do a copy and paste of this because we're going to do exactly the same for the other side so let's copy and paste and this time we'll change uh, our left wall to our right wall and we'll change our red score to our blue score and everything else is fine let's save that uh, and that's what we need in there initially for that okay 
So that's the basics essentially of uh, our scripting, but we need to have some way of showing it. Uh, so let's go back to our game. Uh, and this time what we're going to do is we're going to add in uh, two uh, UI objects. All right, so we'll right click in our hierarchy and we're going to go to UI and we're going to go to text. Okay, and you won't be able to see it there. So you just see that white screen is coming up here. Now your canvas essentially sits over the top of your whole game. Uh, so it's almost like another layer that's on top of your whole whole game that we've done so far. So we've got our playing area here and then we've got our canvas. So I'm just going to zoom out and you can see there that it sits over the top of everything. And if I just zoom in just down here, we've got our little bit of text. So we can select our text box there and we can move this around just like we can move anything else around um, and in our plane. So let's change this up a little bit. So in your, making sure that you're selected on that text component, uh, we need to sort this out. So let's have zero in there initially. Uh, and that's probably a little bit small, but let's kind of uh, just tweak our alignment initially. Let's put that in the middle as well. Um, Let's change this to white. And, uh, in fact, let, well, let's leave it for white for now. Um, do, 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 do. Have I got a fit on there? Yep, that should be fine. Okay, that's a bit small for me, I think. Uh, let's just jump it to uh, 18. That should be all right. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. So we need one, and I'm going to use my grid really helpfully here. So we need kind of one in there. Oop. And I'm going to rename this one. Blue text. And then I'm just going to right click and duplicate. And I'm going to rename it before I do anything else, otherwise I will forget and call that one red text. And then if you remember, when you duplicate something, it sits right over top of it. So I'm just going to scroll that across here and sit that on the red side. And my grid is nicely in place so I can get that bang in place. All right, so there are our two little um, uh, elements up. So we're going to add those into... Um, uh, our script now and just update how we affect those so let's go back to our script so double click on your ball script and it should come back up here now key thing to remember so we took one out earlier and we're going to add one in now so up here we've got these system uh, uh, collections that C sharp calls across for unity to use and we need to add one in so I am going to add in using unity engine Make sure you've got your capital letters in the right place. Dot UI. So we go on. All right. And that basically tells the script that down below that I'm going to use some UI elements. Uh, so we'll pick that up as we go through. So we need a couple of variables up top uh, for our score pieces. So public text. Uh, and we'll have blue text score. So going on. And then we'll have another one. Answers on a postcard, red text score, semicolon. Okay, and then let's buzz down to our uh, if statements that we've uh, got going on here. And just underneath here, we're going to go through and we're going to update these. So red text score dot text equals basically blank that means plus our red score semicolon all right and then exactly the same but for blue on the other side blue text score dot text equals space equals speech marks speech marks plus blue score semicolon 
And let's save that. Okay, so we've got everything there. Not got any red marks in there. No, I think we're all good. Let's get the right one up. So let's just uh, go back to our... That's not what I want to do. So let's just zoom out so that we've got our play area. And one thing we will need to do is select our ball. Where's our ball gone? There it is. All right, select our ball. And you'll see down here that we've got two variables that we need to populate. So nice and easy. Grab your blue text uh, from your canvas and drop it into here. And likewise with your red text, drop it into there. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, if we hit play. So you've now got your scores there. And if I miss by purpose you'll see that our score on the other side is going up. Okay, and likewise this side, our score is going up. And now we can start playing the game proper and you've got a sense of trying to play around with who's going to be the best and who's going to get the best score. So um, there you go. A quick game of Pong. Let's let it track up another one. Yep, that's good. Let's make sure it's happening this side as well. Indeed it is. All right, there you go. So there you have it, a kind of nice, simple version of Pong uh, playing around uh, with you to be able to uh, develop. So what can you do? I'm going to leave it there. That's going to be the end of the tutorial on there. Uh, some things, some challenges that you could have a little look at. Could you add a little trail effect maybe to your ball uh, and seeing how that could work out? Uh, could you add a sound every time that the uh, the ball hits the, uh, the racket? Could you add something in there? Uh, what about increasing the ball speed over time? Uh, and then topping and tailing it, can you have kind of menu screens, credit screens uh, as you go through so you really package the whole game together. All right. Uh, just a reminder, please, that um, some of these resources were put together by a website called Moo ICT. Uh, the link is in the description uh, and the resources were there from there. It's a great little site with lots of little mini uh, Unity tutorials. Uh, so uh, thanks for them for uh, for their work on this as well. So hopefully you've got an idea of what you can now do and take forward. We'd love to see your versions uh, of Pong and how you can change that around uh, and how you can maybe meet some of those challenges. So other than that, that's it for now. What we'll do is we'll put another little uh, tutorial together uh, in Unity and Chris will put some bits together for, for Blender as well uh, as we go through so we can really uh, uh, test your wares on these skill development um, uh, videos and see how you're getting on. Uh, please share with us what you've been up to, uh, what you've been getting on. A few of you have been doing that across the email as well. Uh, it would be great to hear from uh, more of you uh, and seeing how you're faring uh, with all the bits and pieces that you might be playing around with. All right. Uh, that's it for me. I'll see you next time.